Welcome back guys. In the previous video we learned how to create a form and submit the form in WordPress and in this video we're going to learn how to store the value that we retrieve from the form into the database and how to get it back from the database as well. Okay, so still not. So in the previous video we've got the values in uh, hobby and age variables. Okay, and now in this video we're going to create a function that stores these values into the database. So since we are dealing with the form values for user, uh, as we all know, uh, the information of the user is basically saved uh, in two tables. The first table is WP users where the in this information is saved and the second table uh, where the information of the user is saved is the user meta. Okay, so here these are the two tables in the WordPress. Okay, so since uh, user meta is basically um, data about the user, so meta, the meaning of meta is data about data. So if you want to store more information about the user, it goes into user meta. Example, uh, you know, first name, last name, description, um, comment box, admin, color, and all of those stuff. And the user, WP user, has the um, basic. Um, you know, structure of user login, password, nice name, email. So all the main information goes over here and all the additional information goes in the user meta. So since uh, the um, hobby and the age is uh, some extra information that we want to store into the database, the best place to store is the WP user meta. So WordPress provides us with certain functions uh, that allows us to store these information and retrieve it from the database. So let's go ahead and create a function for that. I have already written it to save time, so I'll just copy it and explain to you how it works. So just before this uh, is set, we'll define a function here. We always check if the function ex doesn't exist before defining the function so that it can be uh, rewritable uh, and to ensure we don't get errors in case if someone else has defined a similar function. So the name of the function is wf, this is just prefixing insert update user meta. So the job of this function is basically to um, insert the new information in the database and in case if the database already has that meta key and the meta value then just update that. It accepts different parameters, first is the user ID, second is the meta key and the third is the meta value. So over here, um, let's... Um, so add hobby um, okay data in the user field okay perfect so what's happening over here is basically WordPress provides us with a, a function called add user meta so if you go to WordPress codex just add user meta <coughs> Let's see what this function does. So the job of this function is basically to uh, store the information metadata into WordPress. So it says add metadata to the user's record. It accepts different parameters. One is user ID, meta key, meta value, and then this is unique. Uh, unique means whether the same key should be added or not. So by default, it's false. Uh, so we need the user ID, we need the meta key, and we need the meta value. So meta key is basically uh, this part. This is meta key. So if you go to user meta, uh, database table okay okay so this is basically the meta key uh, column and th these are the meta key and this is the meta value okay so let's do that so it accept these parameters as said uh, we are setting this value to true uh, which means that um, the same key uh, should not be added okay so if it's already there, don't add it. All right. And what does this function return? Let's check that on Codex. So it returns the primary key ID for success, false for failure. So in case if the um, yeah, so in case if the information is added into the database the meta key and meta value then it's just going to return the um, you know key id uh, so if and over here we're checking that if this has a value which means that if it is returned a key id that means that uh, the 
uh, the everything is fine it's been added but if it's not which means if the ID is not returned and false is returned and false is returned for failure so if false is returned by this function this means that the key already exists and in that situation we're going to use a WordPress default function which is uh, a WordPress function which is called update user meta and this is going to just update the value of the meta into that particular meta key okay so in this situation the first one it will create the meta key that we pass over here and set the meta value of whatever in, we pass over here and in the, in the second situation uh, if this fails if this execution fails it will return false as we've just checked false for failure which means that the key is already existing in the database and if the key already exists which means if this is false then go ahead and update the value of of what is returned uh, what is uh, given to this function uh, into the database okay and then return true okay <clears throat> so that's what we're going to do over here basically we're going to call this function <clears throat> this one and we'll put the meta key as a user hobby so we'll name it as user hobby and we'll put the meta value as hobby and that's what uh, user has entered into the input field <coughs> so user has entered this into the input field over here user hobby okay um, and um, perfect similarly we need to store the information for the age as well so we'll put that as age okay and this will be user age <coughs> so basically what we're doing over here we're calling this function and we're passing user ID so we still haven't got the user ID so we need to know which user is logged in how do we get the user ID we can get the user ID by calling a function called get current user ID and we can define at the top of our page because we might need that later on so we'll get the user ID by uh, you know calling this particular function basically okay and we, if you want to check what is returned by this function you know let's check that let's go over here let's refresh the page you can see one is returned which means that's the user ID which is the user which which is logged in so you can see this is the user ID so I'm logged in I'm admin and my user ID is one and what which is what is returned by this particular function get current user ID so I'm passing the user ID I'm passing the meta key and meta value so meta key is user ho hobby and the meta value is the uh, you know input value of what the user enters in the form so this information and this information you uh, user hobby and user age is basically uh, going to be stored in these meta key uh, value okay all right that's that and uh, what once that is done uh, let's first just check if this is all working fine <clears throat> so I'm gonna go ahead and uh, refresh the page and I'm gonna go ahead and uh, write my hobby is let's say poetry and age 28 and I'm gonna submit it I'm gonna go to the database refresh the page go to user meta okay and click on browse go to the last Page. and sure enough you can see that I've got the uh, meta key hobby user hobby created over here and the user age created over here and these values have been set to what I've entered into the database okay brilliant that's amazing so now we've got the um, way to store the information in the database obviously we want to retrieve that information so in case if the user has already saved something uh, into the database we should we would want to display that over here uh, and that's that's a very good practice so how do we do that so WordPress provides us uh, with another function 
and that function is called uh, the get user meta gets user meta is going to retrieve uh, the value that's stored over here for these uh, this particular key so again I have written the code already for this and um, all I'm going to do is just copy that and, and paste it over here so what we are really interested in is getting the <coughs> existing user hobby and existing user age so what we're doing over here we're calling this function basically this function let's search in codex just to see what it does <coughs> okay so it retrieves the user meta field for the user it accepts user id uh, meta key uh, and also uh, another value single is equal to false single means whether to return a single value which means that do you want just the value or do you want the entire array or something okay so uh, will be an array if single is false will be a value of meta if single is true so we don't not really interested in getting all the information in form of an error. All we're interested in know what is the value of the meta key that we want to pass. Uh, so what's the value of user hobby and what's the value of user age? So that's why we will pass the third parameter as true because we want the single value. Okay. So over here, if you check existing hobbies, we'll get user meta. User ID is the first parameter which we've already passed. User hobby hobby is the meta key which we just created over here. Yep and um, then if and then true is the next parameter to ensure we get a single value just the value of the this particular meta key and not the entire array and if that is the case if this is true which means if you're getting the value uh, set then the uh, we are setting the existing hobby variable value is equal to get meta, uh, user meta user id user hobby true and if this doesn't have any value which means if there's no value for this particular key in the database then just set that to the empty string Similarly, for existing age as well, we are getting the user meta value. So we are getting the data that's stored into the database, uh, which is basically this. Okay, once we have all of this information, all we have to do is echo it out over here in the value, uh, value attribute of our input field. So we'll just do PHP echo and this, that's all. And similarly, we'll do that for the age as well. So PHP echo existing H now if you go ahead and check go to the form refresh the page and sure enough you'll see that these two values have been you know given from the database you can see that if I change that to poetry's I'll probably changes to 29 save it and sure enough you've got the sorry okay uh, now if you notice that now you don't have the new values that you've just submitted but if you check the database and refresh the page <coughs> you will notice that this is saved into the database uh, however it's not being displayed over here you have to refresh the page again in order for you to see that information the reason for this is because uh, you know uh, this information uh, because you have not really redirected the form to the same page okay so what you need to do is you need to re redirect the form to the same page in order for all of this to function correctly um, so let's go ahead and redirect it so to redirect the form once everything is done we use the variable we create a variable called location we set HTTP and we get the server HTTP host value and then server this value and then we use a default WordPress function not default but WordPress function called WP safe redirect and then we pass the URL where we want to redirect the user to once the form is submitted and we just exit after that make sure you exit that we could have used the header function PHP header function for location but uh, since we are working with WordPress, it is always advisable for security reasons for the best practices to use the WP safe redirect. Okay, now if you go and check, refresh the page, and now if I change this value to anything else, submit it, 
Okay, now we have another problem. What does it say? Cannot modify header information. Header already sent by output started at so and so. Right? So to fix this issue, always remember whenever you're dealing with forms and you get this issue at the top of the page, just do OB start. Now refresh the page. Sure enough, that's been sorted. Okay, if I change it, submit it, and sure enough, everything is working perfectly fine. Cool, that's great. Um, do we need to do anything else now? Yes, I need to explain to you what's going on over here. Okay, so we'll go line by line. What do we get in the dollar underscore server? First, get, let's get rid of this post. We don't need it. This echoing of the post. And remember, all of this code will be available on my GitHub um, account. And I'll leave the link in the description box. You don't really have to type all of this. Okay, so let's print server. What do we have in server? So these are PHP super globals. Okay, uh, dollar underscore server. What does it have? Okay, I need to first stop the redirection in order for us to see what's going on. <clears throat> okay, so you can see that this is uh, basically the server information that is printed. Okay, so the, the different information about the URL, the server, the I think the IP address, all of this information is available over here, but we're not interested in everything. All we're interested in is the HTTP host value, property, property value, which is localhost 888. Okay, so basically this is localhost 888, and we put HTTP colon um, forward slash forward slash before that, and then request URI. So, where's the request URI? Here it is. WordPress testing custom form. So, basically, we want this complete URL. So, we're not going to get that by one URL. So, what we'll do is we'll say HTTP uh, colon uh, forward slash forward slash and then server. We'll get this value. So, we got this part. Okay, and then we'll get this value in the request URI, uh, this part. So combining everything, we actually get this entire URL. Okay, so if you go ahead and um, echo the location. Refresh it. And sure enough, you have got this entire URL. You can see this is the same as this because we want to redirect the user to the same page. Okay, so that's how it basically works. So I think that's been all, all been sorted. Uh, I'll leave the link uh, in the description box. In the upcoming videos, it's going to get complex. So in the next video, we're going to learn uh, how to go ahead and uh, save attachments. So how to deal with files, how to upload the file, how to upload the file into WordPress how to save that data into database, how to retrieve that information. So all of the complex thing is what we're going to learn in the next video. All right, guys, till then, see you. Bye-bye.